counting double digit thousand sex. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own costume theme in PowerPoint. So, let's get jump into it. Open your PowerPoint. And add a blank presentation. After adding a blank theme, go to the View tab. Under the View tab, you will find a section called Master Views. From Master Views, select Slide Master. Slide Master View will open and a blank theme will be shown as you can see on this screen. This first slide is the Master Slide. Any change made to this slide will be automatically applied to all the other slides below it. Now, we will start customizing this template. First, we will customize its size. From this slide size section, you can choose either standard slide size or the widescreen, or you can set a costume size of your slide according to your requirements from here. But I'm gonna go for the widescreen. Now, we are done with the slide size. Next, we will change the slide background. To change the background, just right click in this empty area and select the format background from the options. Here you can see, we have multiple options to change the background. Let's go through each one for an overview. The first option is the solid fill. You can fill your slide background with any solid color from this color bucket right here. Select any color that you want. Here, you can also adjust the transparency level of the selected color on your slide. Now, let's move on to the next option, Gradient Fill. Here are some presets included in this option. You can choose any of these, if you like them. Here, you can select the strokes and angles that you would like to have on your slide background. Here you can set the direction of the gradient. You can also change it manually by setting its angle in your desired direction. From this gradient stops, you can change the color of the gradient. Not only this, but you can also increase or decrease the number of gradient stops. If you want to remove a gradient stop, just click on that stop and then click on the remove gradient stop on the right side. Similarly, you can also add a gradient stop by clicking this little gradient stop option. You can add as many stops as you want, but I'll keep only two gradient stops. To change the color of each stop, click on that stop and choose your desired color from this color bucket. Here, you can adjust the transparency and brightness levels if you want. 
Now, let's move on to the picture fill option. You can select an image from the local file or from an online source. You can adjust its transparency level as well. Here is the option to insert an image from an online source. Now, let's explore our last option, the pattern fill. It's quite simple. Here, you can select any pattern you like. And then you can change its background and foreground colors from these options. But, I'll use the gradient filled in this tutorial. Now, you can close this background property penal. In the next step, we are going to change the font style, font size, and text color of our master slide. To change the font style, first select the title box. You can choose any of these fonts if you like. Or just navigate to the Home tab and select your desired font style. Let's choose its color to be white. Similarly, I will select this box below the title and I'll make some adjustments to it. You can see every change that we make to this master slide is automatically applied to the rest of our slides. In the next step, I am gonna add some shapes to our design to make it looks a bit stylish. Great, have a look at how our theme will look like afterward. In any case, if your text box overlaps with the design, then you can adjust it accordingly. You can go through each slide and recheck it.
Great. We are now done with our design. To save this theme, click on this arrow down button. Click on Save Current Theme. Rename it anything you like. And hit Save. Now, you can close the master view from here. As you can see our costume PowerPoint theme has been created. You can insert any type of slide with our newly created theme. Go to the Design tab to check if this theme is saved there or not. Here it is. Let's restart the PowerPoint and apply our theme from the Design tab manually. Here you can see how it looks like. If you want to delete it, just go to the Design tab, right-click on the design, and select Delete. Click Yes to delete, but I'm not gonna delete that. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.